Nylon is a generic designation for a family of synthetic polymers known generically as aliphatic polyamides, first produced on February 28, 1935, by Wallace Carothers at DuPont's research facility at the DuPont Experimental Station. Nylon is one of the most commonly used polymers. Key representatives are nylon 6, 6, nylon 6, nylon 6, 9, nylon 6, 10. Nylon 6, 12, Nylon 11, Nylon 12 and Nylon 4, 6. Overview Nylon is a thermoplastic, silky material, first used commercially in a nylon bristled toothbrush, followed more famously by women's stockings after being introduced as a fabric at the 1939 New York World's Fair. Nylon is made of repeating units linked by amide bonds and is frequently referred to as polyamide. Nylon was the first commercially successful synthetic thermoplastic polymer. There are two common ways of making nylon for fiber applications. In one approach, molecules with an acid group on each end are reacted with molecules containing an groups on each end. The resulting nylon is named on the basis of the number of carbon atoms separating the two acid groups and the two amines. These are formed into monomers of intermediate molecular weight which are then reacted to form long polymer chains. Nylon was intended to be a synthetic replacement for silk and substituted for it in many different products after silk became scarce during World War II. It replaced silk in military applications such as parachutes and flak vests, and was used in many types of vehicle tires. Nylon fibers are used in many applications, including clothes fabrics, bridal veils, package paper, carpets, musical strings, pipes, and rope. Solid nylon is used in hair combs and mechanical parts such as machines screws, gears and other low to medium stress components previously cast in metal. Engineering grade nylon is processed by extrusion, casting, and injection molding. Type 6, 6 nylon 101 is the most common commercial grade of nylon, and nylon 6 is the most common commercial grade of molded nylon. For use in tools such as spudgers, nylon is available in glass-filled variants which increase structural and impact strength and rigidity, and molybdenum sulfide-filled variants which increase lubricity. Its various properties also make it very useful as a material in additive manufacturing. Specifically as a filament in consumer and professional grade fused deposition modeling 3D printers. Chemistry Nylons are condensation copolymers formed by reacting equal parts of a dimin and a dicarboxylic acid, so that amides are formed at both ends of each monomer in a process analogous to polypeptide biopolymers. Chemical elements included are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. The numerical suffix specifies the numbers of carbons donated by the monomers. The dimine first and the diacid second. The most common variant is nylon 6-6 which refers to the fact that the dimin and the diacid each donate 6 carbons to the polymer chain. As with other regular copolymers like polyesters and polyurethanes, the repeating unit consists of one of each monomer, so that they alternate in the chain. Since each monomer in this copolymer has the same reactive group on both ends, the direction of the amide bond reverses between each monomer, unlike natural polyamide proteins which have overall directionality, car terminal and R terminal. In the laboratory, nylona 6-6 can also be made using a dipoil chloride instead of a dipic acid. It is difficult to get the proportions exactly correct, and deviations can lead to chain termination at molecular weights less than a desirable 10,000 daltons. To overcome this problem, a crystalline, solid nylon salt can be formed at room temperature, using an exact one-to-one -one ratio of the acid and the base to neutralize each other. Heated to 285 degrees Celsius, the salt reacts to form nylon polymer. Above 20,000 daltons, it is impossible to spin the chains into yarn, so to combat this, some acetic acid is added to react with a free and end group during polymer elongation to limit the molecular weight. In practice, and especially for 6, 6, the monomers are often combined in a water solution. The water used to make the solution is evaporated under controlled conditions, and the increasing concentration of salt is polymerized to the final molecular weight. DuPont patented nylona 6, 6, 
so in order to compete, other companies developed the homopolymer nylona 6, or polycoprolactam a not a condensation polymer, but formed by a ring opening polymerization. The peptide bond within the caprolactam is broken with the exposed active groups on each side being incorporated into two new bonds as the monomer becomes part of the polymer backbone. In this case, all amide bonds lie in the same direction, but the properties of nylona 6 are sometimes indistinguishable from those of nylona 6, 6 a euro except for melt temperature and some fiber properties in products like carpets and textiles. There is also nylona 9. The 428 a degree Fahrenheit melting point of nylon 6 is lower than the 509 a degree Fahrenheit melting point of nylon 6, 6. Nylona 5, 10, made from pentamethylene diamine and sebacic acid, was studied by Carothers even before nylona 6, 6 and has superior properties, but is more expensive to make. In keeping with this naming convention, nylona 6, 12, or PA6, 12 is a copolymer of a 6C diamine and a 12C diacid. Similarly for N5, 10 N6, 11, N10, 12, etc. Other nylons include copolymerized dicarboxylic acid diamine products that are not based upon the monomers listed above. For example, some aromatic nylons are polymerized with the addition of decids like terephthalic acid or isophthalic acid more commonly associated with polyesters. There are copolymers of N6, 6 per newton 6. Copolymers of N6, 6 and 12. And others. Because of the way polyamides are formed, nylon would seem to be limited to unbranched, straight chains. But star-branched nylon can be produced by the condensation of dicarboxylic acids with polyamines having three or more amino groups. The general reaction is. Two molecules of water are given off and the nylon is formed. Its properties are determined by the R and R groups in the monomers. In nylon 6, 6, R equals A4C and A equals A6C alkanes, but one also has to include the two carboxyl carbons in the diacid to get the number it donates to the chain. In Kevlar, both are and are benzene rings. Concepts of nylon production, the first approach, Combining molecules with an acid group on each end are reacted with two chemicals that contain them groups on each end. This process creates nylon 6, 6, made of hexamethylene dimine with six carbon atoms and adipic acid. The second approach, a compound has an acid at one end and an at the other and is polymerized to form a chain with repeating units U. In other words, nylon 6 is made from a single 6-carbon substance called caprolactam. In this equation, if n equals 5, then nylon 6 is the assigned name. The characteristic features of nylon 6, 6 include, pleats increases can be heat set at higher temperatures, more compact molecular structure, better weathering properties, better sunlight resistance, softer hand, higher melting point, superior color fastness, excellent abrasion resistance, on the other hand, nylon 6 is easy to dye, more readily fades. It has a higher impact resistance, a more rapid moisture absorption, greater elasticity and elastic recovery. Characteristics, variation of luster, nylon has the ability to be very lustrous, semilustrous or dull. Durability, its high tenacity fibers are used for seat belts, tire cords, ballistic cloth and other uses. High elongation, excellent abrasion resistance, highly resilient, paved the way for easy care garments, high resistance to insects, fungi, animals, as well as molds, mildew, rot and many chemicals, used in carpets and nylon stockings, melts instead of burning, used in many military applications, good specific strength, transparent to infrared light, bulk properties, above their melting temperatures, TM, thermoplastics like nylon or amorphous solids or viscous fluids in which the chains approximate random coils. Below TM, Amorphous regions alternate with regions which are lamellar crystals. The amorphous regions contribute elasticity and the crystalline regions contribute strength and rigidity. The planar amide groups are very polar, so nylon forms multiple hydrogen bonds among adjacent strands. Because the nylon backbone is so regular and symmetrical, 
especially if all the amide bonds are in the trans configuration, nylons often have high crystallinity and make excellent fibers. The amount of crystallinity depends on the details of formation, as well as on the kind of nylon. Apparently it can never be quenched from a melt as a completely amorphous solid. Nylona 6, 6 can have multiple parallel strands aligned with their neighboring peptide bonds at coordinated separations of exactly 6 and 4 carbons for considerable lengths, so the carbonyl oxygens and amide hydrogens can line up to form interchain hydrogen bonds repeatedly, without interruption. Nylona 5, 10 can have coordinated runs of 5 and 8 carbons. Thus parallel strands can participate in extended, unbroken, multi-chain I-squared pleated sheets, a strong and tough supramolecular structure similar to that found in natural silk fibroin and the I-squared keratins in feathers. Nylona 6 will form uninterrupted H-bonded sheets with mixed directionalities, but the I-squared sheet wrinkling is somewhat different. The three-dimensional disposition of each arc and hydrocarbon chain depends on rotations about the 109.47 degree tetrahedral bonds of singly bonded carbon atoms. When extruded into fibers through pores in an industrial spinneret, the individual polymer chains tend to align because of viscous flow. If subjected to cold drawing afterwards, the fibers align further, increasing their crystallinity, and the material acquires additional tensile strength. In practice, nylon fibers are most often drawn using heated rolls at high speeds. Block nylon tends to be less crystalline, except near the surfaces due to shearing stresses during formation. Nylon is clear and colorless, or milky, but is easily dyed. Multistranded nylon cord and rope is slippery and tends to unravel. The ends can be melted and fused with a heat source such as a flame or electrode to prevent this. When dry, Polyamide is a good electrical insulator. However, polyamide is hygroscopic. The absorption of water will change some of the material's properties such as its electrical resistance. Nylon is less absorbent than wool or cotton. Historical uses Bill Patendria, DuPont, and other individuals and corporations worked diligently during the first few months of World War II to find a way to replace Asian silk and hemp with nylon in parachutes. It was also used to make tires, tents, ropes, ponchos, and other military supplies. It was even used in the production of a high-grade paper for U.S. currency. At the outset of the war, cotton accounted for more than 80% of all fibers used and manufactured, and wool fibers accounted for nearly all of the rest. By August 1945, manufactured fibers had taken a market share of 25%, at the expense of cotton. After the war, because of shortages of both silk and nylon, nylon parachute material was sometimes repurposed to make dresses. Some of the topolymers based upon nylon are used every day in packaging. Nylon has been used for meat wrappings and sausage sheaths. Nylon was used to make the stock of the Remington Nylon 66 rifle. The frame of the modern Glock pistol is made of a nylon composite. Instrument strings, in the mid 1940s, Classical guitarist Andrew Copyright S. Segovia mentioned the shortage of good guitar strings in the United States, particularly his favorite Pirastro catgut strings, to a number of foreign diplomats at a party, including General Linderman of the British Embassy. A month later, the general presented Segovia with some nylon strings which he had obtained via some members of the DuPont family. Segovia found that although the strings produced a clear sound, they had a faint metallic timbre which he hoped could be eliminated. Nylon strings were first tried on stage by Olga Kalho in New York in January, 1944. In 1946, Segovia and string maker Albert Augustin were introduced by their mutual friend Vladimir Bobbery, editor of Guitar Review. On the basis of Segovia's interest and Augustin's past experiments, they decided to pursue the development of nylon strings. DuPont skeptical of the idea, agreed to supply the nylon if Augustine would endeavor to develop and produce the actual strings. After three years of development, Augustine demonstrated a nylon first string whose quality impressed guitarists, including Segovia, in addition to DuPont. Wound strings, however, were more problematic. Eventually, however, 
After experimenting with various types of metal in smoothing and polishing techniques, Augustin was also able to produce high-quality nylon wound strings. Using composites, nylon can be used as the matrix material in composite materials, with reinforcing fibers like glass or carbon fiber. Such a composite has a higher density than pure nylon. Such thermoplastic composites are frequently used in car components next to the engine, such as intake manifolds, where the good heat resistance of such materials makes them feasible competitors to metals. Hydrolysis and degradation All nylons are susceptible to hydrolysis, especially by strong acids, a reaction essentially the reverse of the synthetic reaction shown above. The molecular weight of nylon products are attack drops fast, and cracks form quickly at the affected zones. Lower members of the nylons are affected more than higher members such as nylon 12. This means that nylon parts cannot be used in contact with sulfuric acid for example, such as the electrolyte used in lead or euroacid batteries. When being molded, nylon must be dried to prevent hydrolysis in the molding machine barrel since water at high temperatures can also degrade the polymer. The reaction is of the type. Environmental impact, incineration and recycling, Berners Lee reckons the average greenhouse gas footprint of nylon in manufacturing carpets at 5.43 kg CO2 equivalent per kilo, when produced in Europe. This gives it almost the same carbon footprint as wool, but with greater durability and therefore a lower overall carbon footprint. Various nylons break down in fire and form hazardous smoke, and toxic fumes or ash, typically containing hydrogen cyanide. Incinerating nylons to recover the high energy used to create them is usually expensive, so most nylons reach the garbage dumps, decaying very slowly. Some recycling is done on nylon, usually creating pellets for reuse in the industry. Etymology, in 1940, John W. Ekelbury of DuPont stated that the letters nil were arbitrary and the on was copied from the suffixes of other fibers such as cotton and rayon. A later publication by DuPont explained that the name was originally intended to be no run, but was modified to avoid making such an unjustified claim. Since the products was not really run proof, the vowels were swapped to produce neuron, which was changed to nylon to make it sound less like a nerve tonic. For clarity in pronunciation, the I was changed to Y. Alternative but apocryphal explanations for the naming are it is a combination of the names of the two cities New York and London, NY Lon. It is an acronym from WWII, a challenging slogan by the Allies to their enemy at that time, now you lazy old Nippon, Nippon being an alternative name for Japan, which is the country known for the traditional culture of making silk from silkworms. See also References Further reading, Textiles by Sarah J. Cadolf ISBN 0-13-118769-4, external links, for historical perspectives on nylon, see the documents list of the stocking story, you be the historian at the Smithsonian website, by the Lemelson Center for the Study of Invention and Innovation, National Museum of American History, Smithsonian Institution. A Chemical Demonstration of the Synthesis of Nylon in Carleton University's CHEM 1000 course. Typical Properties of Nylon slash Polyamide, Polyamide Material Description, Discussion of Nylon Synthesis and Properties, How Nylon Yarn is Made, January 1946, Popular Science from Raw Material to Shipment Article with Drawings and Illustrations.